des activités. Donc on a du taekwondo, on a une animation. Uh, no athlete with a Russian or Belarusian passport who has uh, links to the military or who has uh, supported, uh, actively supported uh, the war uh, can take part uh, in international sports uh, competitions. And we saw how it uh, worked very well. We had, uh, uh, with uh, these uh, conditions, uh, successful uh, judo world championships. So we had just uh, last week very successful uh, Taekwondo uh, World uh, Championships and I think uh, this uh, will uh, lead uh, the way and will then finally show the unifying power of the sport. But No Russian flag, no Russian anthem, uh, no, uh, no colors, uh, no uh, national identification uh, whatsoever. And this is how these uh, World Championships uh, have been uh, working. And uh, so uh, there uh, we will now have uh, some more competitions uh, to come. More and more international federations are applying uh, these conditions and this uh, formula. So at, at the end I'm very confident uh, the, the spirit of sport and this uh, unifying spirit uh, will prevail. Thank you. Everybody in the end will realize that uh, the best uh, the Ukrainian athletes uh, can do uh, for their country is uh, to be an international, in international, big international uh, competitions and to make all uh, the Ukrainians uh, proud and to show the resilience of uh, the Ukrainian people and of the Ukrainian athletes. I'm just saying. <laughs> so we will take uh, the decision uh, for uh, the team in uh, Paris I, I think earlier uh, than we took it uh, for Tokyo, but uh, you know, Tokyo was very special circumstances anyway with sure. the pandemic. So uh, let's say uh, April, maybe uh, next year. I do not promise uh, myself. Yeah. <laughs> April is better. April would be okay. Yeah, yeah, it will be okay. <laughs> uh, I this is really good. Job. <laughs> Yeah. It was taboo, it was too, too difficult for the women to uh, do bike. So me, when I, every time I was on my bike in the street of Kabul, when I see the people who look me strangely, and uh, I felt that I'm unique, a uh, superwoman. <laughs> I feel like that, uh, that I'm superwoman, that I take my bike, I'm in my bike in the street, the people look me strangely. And this, this situation in Afghanistan, that uh, people, some of people, they don't want that uh, women go outside the house, but I'm outside on, on the bike with the sport clothes. So <coughs> for me, cycling is freedom. It's a symbol of uh, freedom and uh, empowerment. For me, Marzia and other girls, they are uh, preparing for the Olympic Games. We will uh, try to continue the way and to, say, uh, to show uh, the power of uh, Afghan women and to send a message of hope for the other women in Afghanistan.